Welcome to video number 23 about how to make a chess program in Go and today we will look into transposition tables and that is the way we store previous positions in order to use them later on. We need a way to translate a position to an index into a table. For that reason we are using exclusive OR a bitwise XOR. The thing is that we will have unique key values for every piece and square combination. So a rook on A1, a rook on B1, a bishop on A2 and so on. They will have unique key values and they are unsigned in 64 bits. Let's see how it works. An empty board is has the key 0. So uh, let's put a rook on a1 and a rook on a1 the combination is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we exclusive or with the empty board and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now we want oh, let, let's save that key and now we want to put a knight on b1 the key value for a knight on b1 is 6, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, but <laughs> that's A, B. And we make an exclusive OR to the key, and we get a new key, 6, 6, A, A, E, E. And we save that key. And now we want to put a bishop on C1. And the key value for a bishop on C1 is A, B, C, D, E, F. And we make an XOR. And we get a new key that is CD6701 and we save that. So now we have CD6701 that represents the current board. So let's remove the knight on B1. And that key value is 6789AB. And we make an exclusive OR and we get A, A, E, E, A, A. And that is the same, we use the same key values whether we take away a piece or put a piece into the board. We save our new key A, A, E, E, A, A. And now we want to remove the rook from A1. Do you remember 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? An XOR, and we get A, B, C, D, E, F, and we save that. And now we have only one piece left, the knight on B1. And that was A, B, C, D, E, F. And we make an exclusive OR. And now we have 0, an empty board again. So it doesn't matter in what order we take out and put in pieces. We always have a unique key representing the current board position. So we can implement some stuff now. I think we have, we should have a new file for this. Trans.go. It's package main. We have two parts, the hashing logic. Uh, logic and the trans table logic transposition table logic so start with the hash uh, first of all we want this table with unique key values for each uh, piece and square combination so call it rand pc square is all random numbers so it's uh, 12 pieces, 64 squares. I'm signed in 64, and this is key values for PC on square. We need the same for for uh, EP, EP status, on passant, and the same for castling status. It's the same ID. We need 64-bit random generator. We can use the random generator from uh, Go, but it's 32 bits, so we need to build up 64 bits. 
and here we are not so much to say about this we have this run 64 function and we fill in these three tables with random numbers for color we XOR with FFFF, all ones. Here we are again, and that XOR is exactly the same as doing a NOT. We also have some functions to return these uh, key values. And let's fix the transposition table itself. So what do we need? We need an entry. We need to know what part of the key that we can use as an index. Because the table can never be as big as an unsigned in 64. So we will have a mask that we can compute to build this index. We have some transposition table information that we need to keep. And of course, we need a store and a retrieve. Voila, here it is. Amazing. So the entry consists of a lock. Because we cannot use all these uh, 64 bits, so we can use 32 bits in the entry as something to compare with. Uh, we have the move, we have an alignment that is not used just for per performance, score, the score and an age to know when this entry was saved. And the depth and the score type I will uh, explain later on. We have this function that clear one entry not much to say about this. The transtract describes the, the transposition table. We have some information here about number of entries that we can use, how many bits we need to take from the key to get the mask so we can get an index. Uh, we count the usage of the table to see how is it 90 percent or what what it is we have this h that is in the entry uh, here we have a current h that is updated for each search and th that h is the one we store and here are some counters for temporary to just see that the table works as expected and let's call the transposition table for trends. So we need a new, because when the user asks for, let's say, 32 megabyte, we need to compute how many entries we have and what is the maximum index. Actually, we have an upper limit of 4 gigabyte. When the user said 32 or 120 megabyte, we compute the size in bytes. And we know when we know the size in bytes, we have a function that computes the number of bits that we use from the key. In fact, I think we don't need to save that bits. We need to compute it, but we don't need to save that. We just save the number of entries and the mask. And the number of entries we get from number of bits and the mask is number of entries minus one and this uh, size to bit function is quite simple we start with number of entries that we compute and then divide by two and each time we add one bit to number of bits until we reach zero and that is binary logic we need to clear the transposition table, so we have a clear for one entry, and we put that in each uh, entry in the table. And the lock is, as I said before, a part of the key 
32 bits and we have this full key and full key is the real key that we are using in retrieve and store because we only uh, we we maintain the key from uh, piece and square combination all the time but the uh, en passant key and the coslink key we put in before we make store or retrieve so we need this store function and the retrieve function retrieve current position from the <coughs> table and here we come again uh, if we start with store we use the full key we store the move depth ply and score and the score type A remove mate ply i will explain later on the index uh, we compute by ending the mask with the full key and the lock is 32 bits that we take from the full key let's make this 2000 so we actually check four entries not only one entry and why is that well if uh, the lock is the same then we know it's a perfect match and we just update the information but if the lock is not the same we are going to overwrite another position's information uh, and that's why we check four different entries because we will choose the one that have the lowest age and or the lowest depth it's less information and we use this trick with plus one index plus one and the mask that it just to ensure that the mask the index never exceeds the maximum index for the table so we get the address to the current entry and check the lock if the lock is the same we will update the information with the new information and just return if the lock is not the same we use this code to make sure that the age is a low age is worse than a low depth so um, it's just a little trick to select the worst the entry with the lowest information value we can call it that and when we know which entry to replace we replace it with the new uh, information now retrieve uh, let's remove this line here we use the full key as well and we also need the depth and the ply and we will reply with the new move score and score type but also something called OK and that shows if the score is OK to use right off we use the same technique with four entries the same four entries starting with the index and three more index if we don't find a perfect match if we have a perfect match that means the lock is the same uh, then we can just reply all the values including OK that means the score can be used as is uh, if it's not like that um, we can return move anyway now this mate score need to explain when we have a mate when we find a mate in the search we have a mate value but we adjust this value with the ply how deep we are in the search to make sure that we select the shortest 
mate. When we save uh, the mate score in the hash table, in the transposition table, we remove this adjustment. We don't use this because we want to store the real mate value. If we don't have a good match, OK, we set OK to false and we return all the values anyway because the move can be used even if the score is useless. This is all for today. This uh, score type I will explain next time. And until then, have a good one.